Hey, how you doing? I am uh, working my other volunteer job here. I'm the official photographer for the Brewster Whitecaps, and um, they play in the Cape Cod Baseball League. It's been around for over 100 years. Uh, really cool. It's great for our community out here on the Cape. It's high quality uh, players. And uh, today I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks on how to shoot baseball um, with some help from my little buddy here. Hi. That's my son. He's going to, uh, he's gonna be shooting some B-roll for me. How cool is that? Anyway, um, let's go have some fun and uh, let's go white caps. <laughs> All right. Well, the first tip that I wanted to share with you guys is uh, photographing the batter. Um, the real trick to that is, when I shoot the batter, I shoot with both eyes. Um, I have one eye that makes sure that the batter's on the focus point and the focus point is, is on, and then my other eye is on the pitcher. And that's who I'm really watching. Um, I fire, all my timing is based on the pitcher, uh, not on the reaction of the batter. It happens too fast, you're gonna miss more shots than get. Um, what you want to do is start firing when the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. Um, and obviously you got to be more precise with the slower the frame rate. I'm shooting at 14 frames a second, so as soon as the ball leaves his hand, I'm on that trigger and I hold it all the way through. Um, I don't care that I get a couple extra frames afterward. Um, just just as long as I get the whole thing, because nothing worse than cutting out right before the action happens. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head, wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had. Get this back. Where did we lose our glow? Boom. All right, guys. My second tip is picking where you're going to shoot from. I like to shoot right here next to uh, the ball boys, ball girls, um, for my batter and pitcher shots. Um, I also will later park myself out near first base. That seems to be where the most infield action is. Uh, great shots there, and then I will also take um, the other side of the home dugout and cover third and second and shortstop. I can also get second from first base, um, but those are like my key key points. I I don't really cover uh, outfield all that much. I snap it. I mean, you get very repetitive shots of of the outfield, um, but. Uh, yeah, really important. Find good places to camp. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head. Wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had. How could we get this bad? Where did we lose our glow? All right, guys. Another tip here is when you're shooting sports photography, you need to shoot wide. Crop and post. Don't try to get up tight with your lens. Yes, you're saving megapixels and everything, but what you really need to do is you never know where the action's gonna go in frame. You know, a bat might break and go in a direction that you just were not expecting. So shoot with a wide composition and crop and post. One more thing guys, um, when you're out here shooting baseball, you need to be safe. Always know where that ball is. Keep an eye on the ball. When you hit a crack of the bat, make sure you know exactly where that ball is going. Tips and fouls, dude, they can freaking take your head off.
want to be safe, you want to know where it is. If you don't know where it went, just cover your head. Be safe. Helmet would even be better, but just watch the ball. All right. I'll be back later. Wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had. How could we get this bad? Where did we lose our glow? All right, guys. I hope you had a good time in the ballpark today with me. Um, got some good tips and tricks on how I shoot baseball. Oh my God! Did I just miss something? Another home run, Whitecaps, boom!